Thanks, John. In the previous section, we've seen some amazing work on animating humans on a 2D image-based approach. Now, let's take a dive deeper into some 3D representations of human bodies and see what creativity 3D enables. Studying human bodies of ourselves has always been a long carried out topic throughout human history. Since the information age, digitizing human bodies has always been a major focus in computer graphics and animation. Though high quality human scans and visual effects have already been used widely in the film industry, low cost and accessible human digitization for everyone still remains a challenge. As people gradually adopted deep learning in this field, there has been some recent exciting work and really pushed the boundary of this task. Computer graphic researchers has been developing animatable body templates for decades. A template is usually in the shape of a naked body together with a set of weights called rigging, which describes the relationship between the shape with regarding to the pose. The template's actual sizes and poses can be controlled via a set of parameters. While most prior work fits the template to a certain input by optimizing these parameters towards a predefined energy term, some recent work utilizes a neural network to directly infer these parameters. For instance, in this work, a template naked body is fitted towards monocular RGB images whose parameters are predicted by a neural network. A more recent work called VIBE further improved the fitting and tracking performance given video as input and achieved real-time performance. Templated-based model like this really enables tracking of human poses and general shapes from monocular inputs, allowing applications such as posing an animal character into the real-world scene with ease. However, template-based method is difficult to recover the identity of the person, especially the clothing because of the topology limits of the predefined fixed shape model. So people have also been looking to extracting human shapes without relying on a template. The work PyFu is among the first to recover detailed human body shape that even captures the fine details of wrinkles and folds on the clothing. The core of this work it's an implicit representation of 3D shapes that is defined by a function densely spanning the entire extraction space. A neural network, which consumes the input images, instead of predicting the shape parameters or fixed voxel, predicts the function on a per sampled point basis. A later follow up work named PyFu HD further improved the reconstruction resolution and quality by introducing a multi-level detail approach. PyFu related work started enabling high fidelity human reconstructions from single images captured by consumer devices and unlocked creativity for users who don't have access to traditional scanning devices. For instance, in this short demo, Mario showcases his interesting composition while he turns his own shape into a manipulable object. The reconstruction of such shape is done via PyFu, and the whole work can be achieved in-house from his workstation. However, as PyFu reconstructs shapes only, in order to create that demo, Mario still needs to have advanced technical knowledges on rigging the extracted shape, which is about manually processing the shape and make it manipulable and animatable. Many creators have asked whether there could be a system creating animation-ready human avatars that can directly put into existing animation pipelines. 
One of the earliest answers to this was the work ARC, which reconstructs human body in an animation-ready format. The reconstructed avatar is naturally residing in the canonical space as a textured, neutral post, neutral sized shape, with skinny weights already ripped. You can directly animate this avatar using existing linear-based skinny model towards a target action sequence. In order to achieve that, this work reuses the Python representation and reconstruction network, but reconstructs the shape directly in the rigged canonical space. The core of this work is to effectively rig the canonical space in order to establish the mapping to the input image frame. A more recent work, Scanimate, further started the rigging and animation of the canonical space using a network and will be presented oral in this year's CVPR. Another work that was checking at this CVPR is S Cube, which is a full pipeline of human body digitizing and can be applied to varying input types. It utilizes a multi-head network, which produces shape, pose, and rigging all together that form a complete avatar. Aside from avatar creation, another interesting direction is real-time application. In this work called Monoport, the authors accelerates PyFu extraction and rendering to real-time. As the implicit representation evaluates on a per-point basis, a good sampling mechanism is the key to reducing the computational cost. The core of this work is a viewpoint-dependent surface localization algorithm, which effectively skip empty or occluded regions and reconstruct the rendering in a hierarchical fashion. This work enables real-time reconstruction and novel view rendering of a closed human body. And its implementation received Best Show Award in last year's SIGGRAPH Real-Time Live. Data, but what we can't really do is actually um, create it quite easily. So that's where Monoport comes in. Now here you can see on the main screen, our main, the main demo of our app. You can see there Yulong is doing a variety of poses while he stands in front of just a standard Logitech webcam. And on the right, you can see on the top, the uh, captured uh, inferred texture of his body. And on the bottom, the geometry with like, the normals. And you can see as it's rotating, as he moves around and does different poses, it automatically adapts to his new pose and even infers regions that can't be seen by that single camera. Now, there have been approaches to do real-time um, performance capture and 3D reconstruction in the past, but they've had limitations like requiring multiple calibrated cameras um, which isn't really tractable for standard settings or requiring this carefully pre-captured template of the subject, which means you can't even do things like, say, change your clothes, alter your appearance, grow a beard, without having to go through some new calibration. Um, with our system, we actually allow for monocular performance capture without a template while performing real-time volumetric reconstruction and rendering. And again, this is just using commodity desktop hardware. Uh, it's using a simple Logitech webcam capturing him at SDs, so 640 by 480, using two NVIDIA GPUs to render and reconstruct in parallel. And uh, so this is sort of built as some work from last year that our lab introduced called PyFu, which can actually create an implicit representation of a person that then can then be rendered and reconstructed. But unfortunately, the volumetric reconstruction was really too slow to be used for these sort of real-time environments. Um, for this year, we accelerated this process using um, accelerated octree-based rendering and reconstruction algorithms, as well as new training techniques that make the system more robust to a variety of users like shapes, appearances, and all the different variations you see for like real performance capture. Um, so these traits really allow us to do a lot of interesting things we'll kind of show off to you now. So um, Zeng, would you like to step in? Real-time applications really enables 3D teleportation in a VR or mixed reality scene. I was fortunate to use this system for my own thesis defense, and it really brings remote presentation to life, especially under the global pandemic lockdown. And that's all for the human body representation and for today's section. Thank you again for joining us.